My clothes were bought in Cleary's and I'm still into fitting them. My association with Cleary's, I started when I was 16 and I was here at 64. Great job, loved every day of it, great to see it open. In my first memory that I started out with Cleary's, in the old days, women had the canteen on the roof. When I was 16, Jimmy Fagan sent me up 96 steps and he said, boy, go on up the stairs and he told me to go in the door. When I went in, there was about 300 women in there. Get out, boy, women only. <laughs> so you have to remember that one, you know. I came here because I used to shop here many years and I used to meet my girlfriend under the clock and I, I married her after. <laughs> My bus used to stop outside here, and it was handy. You could look out from the bus to see if she's there. <laughs> Just in case you get stood up. <laughs> so this is a brand new exhibition, and it showcases the history of the long history of this building. It's been here for almost 170 years. First began in 1853 uh, when it was the Grand Palatial Mart and became Cleary's then in 1883. And of course, most people today will probably remember it as the flagship store of Dennis and Mary Guiney, um, who took over in 1941. It's so much more than a department store. It had a ballroom, it had an in-house orchestra. There were dances here seven nights a week until about three in the morning. And of course, you can't mention Cleary's without mentioning Cleary's clock just outside, which is where generations of people uh, met up um, to either come inside or go off on their, their travels. It was an institution, Cleary's. And they had everything, as my mother said, from a needle to an anchor. <laughs> 